All right. So yeah, there we are. Um, so yeah, as uh, Marianne said, I'm Hannah, um, and yeah, I'm going to be speaking to you guys about my work with Stand Easy Productions. So we are a community theatre company, and um, we're founded in 2016, and we work mostly in Dundee and in central Scotland. And our kind of social change, I suppose, is we work with armed forces veterans and serving and veteran emergency responders and we use drama based methods to aid in their recovery essentially from poor mental health and to try and enable them to build more resilience or kind of access the resilience that um, they maybe already had. Uh, through their work um, and we've got a kind of particular focus on working with people who've got a post traumatic stress diagnosis or are kind of currently experiencing a lot of stress at the moment. Um, so our work is really informed by kind of our key values that we try and remember all the time and um, which isn't always easy um, but really important to us is listening to our participants when they want to talk and when we listen trying not to judge and we often find that they might not have spoken about what they kind of speak to us about before or if they have those experiences of sharing have not necessarily been positive positive. Um, and it's kind of tried to remember that even though people who come and take part in our projects might experience therapeutic outcomes. We are not therapists. And that's a really important distinction for us to make. And if people need more than just the opportunity to listen and to share and to be with like-minded people, then we need to refer them on. Um, we try to treat everyone with compassion and respect um, at all times. And we know that working with people with mental health issues that we will experience um, challenges and conflicts. Uh, but, you know, we have to try and remember that often what we're asking these people to do when they take part in drama or they perform can be quite exposing and quite confronting. Um, and that's only exacerbated if you're already managing, you know, kind of challenging mental health um, at the same time. Humour is also really important. I think someone else said this evening about like laughter being a great medicine, which sounds really glib, but it is. Um, and we know that humour is really important to our participants. So black humour tends to be a coping mechanism. Um, and so that's something we try and include in our work and in the work that we produce. Um, and then lastly, we just, we try to be reliable. Um, we try not to let people down if we can help it. And this is really particularly important for the veterans that we work with, because they often feel quite let down by civilian society as a whole. Um, so in practice, what this looks like is work that's really rooted in the stories and the experiences of the people that we're working with. We work purely through devising. We don't use um, pre-existing texts. Um, and this means they can kind of really take ownership of the work um, that they're creating. And although we it comes from the experiences of our participants, there's no requirement for people to share. And we try and make work that's about their feelings rather than um, specific events. Um, we kind of find that like drama and veterans sometimes seems like a bit of an odd fit, but actually lots of the skills that we value in the military and in the emergency services are really the skills that we value in drama. So things like teamwork and um, thinking on your feet. So we try and enable people to refine those skills. And although we work towards performance, this can never be kind of at the detriment of people's mental health. So there's always the opportunity to step back if it is too much. Um, yeah, kind of unusually, we avoid divisive topics because they divide us and we want to bring people together. Um, and that's kind of difficult in the kind of Brexit, all the other things uh, going on at the moment, but we try and do that as best as we can. And lastly, really, it's about creating communities where people feel that they belong and they feel like they've got a family and a support community um, around them. So a little bit before I finish about why this we do this work. So we know that there's a higher prevalence of poor mental health in veterans and in emergency responders. Um, and we know that there's some early research and lots of anecdotal evidence that said COVID has made this worse. Uh, so poor mental health, post-traumatic stress, this is all meaning that our body is experiencing chronic stress, which has an impact on our physical being as well. So some studies from the US show that there was kind of greater instances of things like uh, 
even things like diabetes and high blood pressure. And we know that kind of gut complaints are often linked to stress. Um, and what kind of science tells us is that play, which we can equate to drama and to improvisation, is can be a missing link um, in that recovery. So yeah, that is a very quick kind of whistle stop tour of what we do. Um, and yeah, I'll look forward to hearing people's questions a little bit later on.